I don't, I'm not sure if I've ever done this one on stage either. So. <laughs> um, this is called Last Call, and this is a story from a bar. Yeah. <laughs> Meeting people in bars is kind of interesting. Um, <clears throat> dive bars always feel the same, as though darts and dim lights like to attract depressing counters and customers. The girl next to me at the bar asks me how I can enjoy drinking whiskey, and I smile saying, you can enjoy a lot of things when you stop caring what people think. You drink what you want to drink, and you waste a lot less time on people that just don't matter. And she laughs with a big, toothy smile, the kind you see in photographs and movie stars. She's a 20-something-year-old college dropout, gin and tonic in one hand, no rings on the other, trying to figure out what she wants from this life. And she has a weird kind of honesty that makes people uncomfortable. If you don't know her, and I, I don't know her. <laughs> her sincerity makes me drop my guard, and it may have been the whiskey as well, so I want to tell her all the things I don't tell myself, and there's so much to say that I can't mold into sentences, so I hold on to a grin like an awkward boomerang thrown into the dark, darkest con corners of our conversations, hoping it might return. And then I start to notice. She speaks to me like an old lover, drunk on gin, bathing in the neon moonlight of an open sign. She says, I can tell by the way you talk and how you smile a little when you're saying something sad that you and I too much alike. The two of us grew up believing in happily ever after. The both of us thought things would work themselves out and that we both have given too much of who we are only to let people down. And with everyone I know, I assume they've had their heart broken at least a couple of times. And so, so I smile, because that's what I do. I get scared sometimes. I start to run as far as I can until my legs start to crumble and hope the world stops spinning around me like my skeleton was a wishbone waiting to break, like in a boxing match with fate. All the while I'm praying I can sit one round out, but I know it doesn't work that way. I know our lungs give out way before our hearts do, so it's easy to forget to breathe sometimes when all we're used to is bleeding. I know this world isn't always beautiful. There's so much pain and ugliness out there and in here. We carry our baggage like buckets of water and we're all just oceans, wait, ready to break open our dams. We find ourselves in dive bars and empty bedrooms, drowning, waiting for a lighthouse in the distance or a familiar face to call us back home.